One in three coronavirus patients will experience impacts to their brain and their mental health. Yeah, it's interesting. Some people are completely recovered weeks, even months after getting sick. They're finding it very difficult to get things back to normal. CBS 17's digital reporter Judith Ritana is asking why that is and then how you can get help. The exhaustion was so bad or the migraines were so bad. And then it just wipes you out. And like your recall and your memory is terrible. Danielle Murray is a teacher, mom, and wife. She's had fibromyalgia for 20 years. Her pain from COVID 19 is different. There was no pushing through this pain and exhaustion. The symptoms still lingering five months after her infection. She's now scheduled to see four different specialists. To have a career that I truly love and I felt like it was slipping away. From my fingertips, you know, I was scared. She's not alone. A study published in the Lancet Psychiatry Journal looked at more than 200,000 COVID survivors. 17% of patients were diagnosed with anxiety. Mood disorders are diagnosed in 14%. And while less common, strokes are reported in 7% of those who had severe illness. The combination of physical and mental health challenges really complicates recovery. Dr. John Michael Barada leads a UNC COVID recovery clinic where Murray is a patient. They've seen 100 patients in the last two months. We don't know exactly why there is such an impact to mental health. While we still don't know the why, there is help available and patients are getting better. We are able to use established treatment methods for other types of illnesses or injuries. Murray hopes she'll be one of them. I told my husband, I said, it might have knocked me down, but it's not going to knock me out. If you or someone you know is a COVID-19 long hauler, I have information on how to get help from two different COVID-19 recovery clinics online in my story at CBS17.com. I'm digital reporter Judith Rattana, CBS 17 News.